Hello and welcome to Autonauts. I'm Avon and since the last time we played this game there has been a huge patch. It's now in phase two, the industrial revolution, so there's going to be loads of new stuff I believe. I've decided because of the big patch and because it's been a while I'm going to make a new playthrough, so let's go. This game has been so much fun to play and the beginning is going to be a bit more optimized this time, I think. So I have selected a seed. I'm going to start up here, I think, by the um, lake. This is fresh water. I'm not sure if that's needed in the beginning, but let's go. Let's turn off the tutorial because we played it before. And let's call the world, let's call the world. Uh, this is playthrough number two two so let's call it two that's a nice name for a planet let's go so the last time i played i think there was winter in the game because they added that over the uh, holiday season but i turned it off so it's all about the green grass again because it's spring now almost so let's collect resources and explore. The first thing we need to do is set up uh, bot production. And to do that, we need wood. We're going to explore a tiny bit. This place looks like a very good starting location, I believe. I'm going to kind of fix it and uh, try to turn it into, into the exact thing we want it to be. So I'm going to have uh, to dig a lot I believe because we don't want we don't want like areas like this for wood now they um, changed the area selection for bots so so they can like dig in stripes or in different patterns than before not just every other tile so that makes it a bit easier or a bit more customizable at least so uh, we need the workbench that needs uh, two logs. I think uh, the items also, uh, they, they show how much space they take in the hands, how large they are. So a log has a size of three. You can see it in the bottom right there with the hand. And like this one is a one. So that's very nice when trying to get the bots to do stuff. So we need sticks now. Sticks and sticks. And there we go. That's our first workbench. It's quite crude, but we can use it to make an axe. The axe is needed to make the next workbench. If I remember correctly, the bot assembly unit, because that one needs planks. And to make planks, we can't chop down uh, well, we can chop down the trees with a stone, but we can't cut the logs with a stone. So an axe is perfect for this. I am hoping the start will be a bit more optimized than last time because last time I didn't have a clue and it, some of the stuff took, took, let's say, took a while. So two logs, that's one i'm also going to be sneaky and move stuff like so because then we don't have to carry the log too far there we go so that's our first bot production or bot assembly unit that's the name of this building so we have one log we need more well we need a tree seed good and then we need uh, more planks and we also need a pole. So I'm going to chop these. The first thing we're going to do is find a suitable area to set up our wood production. I am thinking here, but we can't remove this just yet, I believe. Might be able to with a shovel or a spade. Let's find out actually, because this would be a great spot for a forest. So we have three planks and one pole we need. 
let's get four planks and move them. Or actually, let's move this. Sneaky. That's three. And that's the pole. So we'll have one pole spare now for the next one. Okay. And we're ready to start automating. Now let's do let's do the thing they want us to do, the milestone. Let's dig and plant three uh, trees. So this one, this one, what can it do? It can chop down all the trees here, I believe. So let's teach you how to chop. Let's not chop without recording. A bit rusty, I see, but that's fine. Uh, we'll get into it quite fast, I believe, because this game has been played for a long time. So this one is temporary chop uh, trees. And stop. Let's give it our axe. And there we go. This one can go down here to the bot assembly unit. We definitely need more than one bot in this game. Apparently we need more than a hundred as well if we want to get very, very far. So I need, uh, I need to reassign this one now. Maximum area and up here and go. So uh, sticks and stones will make axes. I don't think that's how the uh, thing usually goes with the sticks and stones, but in this game, it means tools. So let's try the spade as well to see if we can remove the um, grain down here. It's actually a, a pretty large area here as well, so this might be even better. Now the reason I chose this map, uh, let's look at map for a bit, is because it's awkward. We need to set up transportation and we need to use like different areas. And I think that's going to be a fun challenge. I hope so at least. Let's see. Nope, we cannot use the the uh, spade there. But let's be sneaky and dig up these. We need um, uh, three of them. And then we set up a bot with the spade to dig for um, our forestry and that will be a lot easier when we when we actually see the area because the area of the bots is a nice way to gauge it because we need it to be the maximum area and uh, minus two I believe I'll show you so we have our first slab, we have our first forestry, and we have a party hat, but now we can make the chopping block and we have more certificates to obtain. So we don't need to start any lessons. If you're new to the game, you can click these to start tutorials on the different things like mining and lumber and so on. But we have played it before, so we don't need to. Our bot needs a new axe, so let's give it a new axe and then bring some sticks back down. Here, sticks. That was very difficult to target. There we go. Okay, so we need three planks, one pole, and a tree seed. So we have a seed and we have a pole. And we need an axe. We probably need money axes as we move on. We're going to, of course, automate that. And we're going to automate it a little bit different than last time. Because we are going to make a storage. That's something we didn't do last time. And at times I feel it would have been nice to have. So you are done up there. So we record and let's set the area here for now. Let's also use 
this to, to gauge the forestry area. So it's uh, the reason we're not going to make it a maximum area is because if we chop a tree here, the log might fall outside because it it ends up in the tile next to it, or at least the um, the seed and sticks will. So for, for us to be able to gather all of them, we need one in on all sides. So the gatherer can uh, can do that. But it does look like a good area. We don't need to tear this down. We might actually be able to farm that, although this would maybe be even better. But we can use it for construction and stuff later. So let's do this area, I think. We need loads of room for construction. So yeah, this is good. But this one, th that was just a measure. So this one can chop down these trees now. We need to bring the planks down here. We also need to make... Um, a new axe so we can make a chopping block or crude pick so we can make uh, make stone or chop stone don't need that just yet though so we have a spade somewhere there we go so we're going to teach this bot how to dig for forestry so let's go bot teach and dig up turf. Now the bots is going to take them a while to get all of this sorted but we might as well start. So this is temp dig for forest. The reason I'm, I'm using the temp tag is so I know that the bots will need to be changed later. Even though this might be a dig bot forever we need to do stuff to it or we need to reprogram it for it to to do what we want it to do now this is one of the big changes maximum area that's fine uh, we're going to we're going to let's see mm, still a bit still a bit wanting to dig up this area but this place can be something else let's see maybe we do the forestry up here instead. We can do it all the way here, yes, at the edge of the map. That's nice, actually. So this one wasn't here before. So what, what it used to be was alternating when you did the digging. It had breathing room between all of them. But what we can do now is vertical stripes. That's very nice. We can also do checkerboard, but I don't think that's very useful for the uh, forestry for now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do vertical stripes so we can bring it. Mm. Hmm. I'm actually, uh, no, I'm thinking horizontal stripes and down here. I think that's better. I like it better. So that's good, but we also need to bring it down too. So this is going to be our forest area and we almost have room here, but I'm not going to get stuck on that now. I'm going to, I'm going to make it here. We can also expand in that area later if we want, even though I don't think that's going to be needed, but let's go like this and need to uh, give it the shovel and go. Now it's it's not uh, synced up with this oh so we cover that and we get some more uh, turf. Let's also make one more spade so we can help out with the um, small stuff. We need to dig up those two berry bushes. We probably also need to set up bots that cover stuff like this, pull up the tree stumps and and uh, fill in the soil. So it won't take a long time before we set up a turf generator, I think. 
but we'll see as we move along. So I probably shouldn't do too much of this manually, uh, but in the beginning it's nice because we don't have many bots and the bots are very slow and they can't be programmed that well. So I don't want to do all the programming now to do small stuff like that. Okay, so now let's quickly look at the area this one has. Or actually, let's just, no, let's see. So we have this place, so this one is fine, but the lower one needs to be filled. So I'm going to fill this and this. That's good. Like so. A bit of micro managing the base before we've even started. So let's see. Next up, we probably need more bots. So let's make another bot. Let's send this one to chop somewhere else, I think. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. You can dig, or not dig, but chop here. This is going to be a pain to recharge, but that's fine. So we have an axe, we can make the um, planks. That's two, and that was all we needed. So let's move a log down. Let's chop this one up. We're going to need the poles eventually anyway, so I'm going to make this full log into four poles. That's enough for four bolts. Oh, that's a stick and that's a pole. And there we go. Pole and leave the rest here and the seed. Good. Now we do have new structure blueprints. We have a chopping block. I'm going to make a chopping block right away because we uh, have an axe that's uh, used a tiny bit. So this is fine. And now we also need storage, but those are a bit annoying to make when we haven't automated stuff, uh, especially the uh, pallet. But I'm going to make one for logs because we want uh, we want to be able to uh, move logs around. It's not that expensive actually. So this one goes here and bang. And now we need a new axe as well. And that's there. And there we go. Now this one is going to be a temporary moving around storage. That sounds very silly. And it kind of is because it's kind of a silly game. So two of these uh, goes up here. Then we need planks. We're going to move up here now. Oh, where's the axe? There's the axe. So, um, two more planks. So that's exactly this. Good. Now we forgot to charge this one, so we need to do that. We also need to charge this one. But this one is going to make our life so much easier. And gather log. And there we go. Some people who uh, saw the first series know I usually double clicked a lot of buttons, but well, my keyboard did. So, happy news, I have a new keyboard, so that shouldn't happen too much. Although, I'm probably going to make a ton of typos anyway. So, find nearest log, that's fine. After we find them, we put them in the log storage and we do that forever so this is going to work here and afterwards we're going to move the area and the storage up here so we can gather like uh, we can gather tons of stuff without having to um, uh, gather tons of stuff without having to move it by bot all the way around 
So this is nice. We need to recharge uh, bot. Here we go. We also need we also need the storage now. The chopping block can be used, but to do that, I think we're going to use a bot. And to do that, we need a bot. So pole goes here. Tree seed goes here. Move it here, and this one can be moved as well. Now, the funny thing is, it's faster to make planks manually than by um, using the um, the chopping block, but it, of course, spends some of the axe to do so. So, three of them in here. Then we make the poles. And oh, didn't need poles. We already had the pole. We needed the log. Okay. So that's a new bot, and this bot is. Uh, oh, we need a new spade. This one can be given to this. I want a storage container because this turf is going to be very useful. Or, of course, of course. No, that was a mistake. I was going to put it on the ground and not use it. Okay, so this we find turf uh, here. I'm not sure, no, I don't remember exactly where it is, but it fits on the left right, I think. We'll see. So we find turf and then uh, we place it here. We're going to turf this place. So this is good. We don't want turf under the, uh, under the uh, tree stumps because uh, then we need to dig it up anyway. So temp place turf. This is good. It's going to fill this place. Now we need uh, now we need a new spade or a new let's see. We need a ton of bots at least. So we have we have logs here. I'm going to remove some of them from storage because this is going to be... Well, that's an annoying bot. Stop that. Record. And you are going to have a maximum area and work over here now. And before we start it... Oh no. Stop. Before we start it, we're going to move this. So you go. And I think I have a lot in my hand to this. This forestry, even though it is taking a tiny bit of time to set up, is going to be very efficient when it's done. That's why I'm doing it this way. Might as well spend some time at the beginning. That that's what this game is about, really. Doing the programming, doing the things, and then it will be efficient afterwards. We don't have any tree seed. Okay, so let's go get some tree seed brains for our bots. One, two, three, and four. You need a new axe, there you go. Was that a bug? I feel like I kept the axe even though I gave it one. Did we just find a bug and duplicate an axe? If so, that's interesting. So, there we go. And you can recharge. And then we can make another one right away, I believe. Perfect. We have all the items we need. 
So I'm not going to make any bots that recharge stuff yet because um, I don't feel we have enough bots for that right now. But eventually, of course, that's going to be done. So one of these stones needs to be made into a pickaxe, I believe, so we can produce more stone. But first, a spade, and then a pickaxe. Then a pickaxe. And there we go. So one of these is going to be the stump digger, and one of these is going to be the stone chopper. Let's recharge this one. Then stone. Up the crude pick, and we're going to start by removing the boulder because it's faster, I believe, and we want it gone so we can build here. So you do that forever. Bring a stone down, and we find the tree stump to teach you. Now to do that, and this is stump, stump, remove. And I forgot to record. So this is going to be maximum area. Let's start here and just move the area around. Use hold item. There we go. Okay, and we need another spade. So until we have automated the tools, there's going to be some some running around for this. I think this game does a really good job though as balancing the early game or the automating versus the manual labor. Because in, in the beginning in, in these games, you usually have to do loads of stuff by yourself, like handcrafting and Factorio and so on. And this game does it in a very good way. I, I think. So there we go. The choppy bits, the choppy person, or choppy bot, choppy personality, definitely has a personality. It's going to, going to change area and we're going to recharge this one a bit. And then, let's see, one is. Uh, when it's done placing that one, thank you. We're going to uh, put it on hold for a bit. So you can be on hold for a bit. Should have paused it so it didn't reset, but that's fine. So now we can move this down here. I'm going to take a quick look at where the forest is actually going to be. There we go. So let's see, corner fits. I kind of want to use something to to uh, mark it. So middle of middle of here and one to the left. Oh, there's no middle because it's two by two. Maybe there. Let's check. We're going to see it very clearly when it's done digging, but it's nice to know in advance as well. No, one up, one up, so we have it on the corner. Okay. So there. Now the forest goes here. We know that. So stump digger is having fun digging up all the stumps, which means we can change the area of the place turf bot soon and when it's done digging the stumps here we're going to send it up here and i'm also going to get a new bot that's going to fill all the holes it was unnecessary of me to do that i think so uh we also need oh we need bots to do everything but i guess that's the point of the game so two of these Get the axe, chop them up. And one of them needs to be pulled. Okay, let's not do more than that. Recharge. And two, three. 
three and one and let's move these down. That's great. So recharge this and teach it to dig holes. You see if if you recharge and you're a bit quick of uh, on clicking the space button to teach it things, it doesn't show the bot as active because the recharge kind of didn't hit yet or something. So there we go, find nearest hole, use held item, and fill holes. There we go. And you can also dig up this one. And now we can place these two. Create a new team that's going to be stump removal. And that can be this kind of color that looks like a fitting color. Sure. That's stump remove. And uh, fill holes. It's easier because when we click this we can see where the areas go and we can see that they have different areas. Later on we can connect them to signs as well. Let's see, sort down, sort up. Oh, we can switch it out, okay. So, what we need now, we need turf storage and that's one of these. So that's four planks and four poles. So that's two planks four planks and that's four poles and we're going to make a chopping block because our axe is about to run out of um, charge or it's going to be destroyed so might as well do it like this so let's see uh, you aren't doing much right now because you need a new area let's see stop drop the thing because we haven't programmed you to do good stuff yet as in as in it would pick up an extra but it wouldn't use it if I didn't uh, do that so let's do this uh, do an until hands full until hands empty combo Until hand. Okay, good. Now that should make it a bit more efficient. It's going to fill its hand before it moves up here, and then it's going to empty its hand, and then it moves back down. There we go. I think we have our temporary set up. Set up now. <laughs> That's, that made sense. And um, I think it's time to stop for now. But this has been a good start. I like the start. It's been quite efficient, although digging up a whole new area for a forest makes the start take a bit more time. But I think it's worth it in the end. I like the way uh, this is done. So I'm going to sneakily pick up these before they rot. Always need more turf. We're going to set up turf making soon as well. So let's see, let's let's actually make another bot. Last bot, end of the day thing. So this thing goes for planks. Now this thing is taking quite a while to use as you see. So I'm only going to make two of them and then I'm going to automate it. But we need the bots to have finished their um, forestry digging before we place all the things we need a kind of the, the wood chain as in logs to planks to poles and later on to uh, the third item we make let's check it's not poles it's a tiny thing there fixing pegs pegs so that's that's kind of the main chain logs to planks to poles to pegs and um, 
that needs to be set up and automated ASAP. So here we go, and here we go. So we have a bot. Uh, now that this one is more efficient, I don't think we need the storage crate anyway for now. So let's remove that one. What we do need though is to automate some bank making. So you pick up a log and place log on chopping block. And the way I'm going to do this is not forever, I'm going to do it say 10 times. I think we, yeah, we exactly have 10. Mm. Yeah, so let's just do five times. Let's use half. And make plank. Actually, th this is one of the changes I'm going to do. I'm going to be quite consistent. And the reason I'm going to change it like this is because later on with the plank make, plank store, plank things, it's going to sort alphabetically and it's going to be a lot easier to find everything. So three of these. And one of these. Actually don't need one of these, no. We just need an axe. So an axe goes here and here. I think this might be the last row. Then this one is going to be repurposed to dig holes in the soil everywhere. So we can start planting the trees. Now up here they are done. Down here this one is soon done. When, when this one is done I'm going to empty this one. I think it has one more. No, it's done. Okay. So I'm going to empty this one down here and I'm going to move it up here. And then you are going to start. After dropping. Oh, and, and uh, change the area a tiny bit. Let's put it here. And go. So now we have logs being gathered for us. We have things happening. These two need a new area. Find the nearest hole in here. Good. And start on the stump remove is find nearest stump in here and go and ah this one is done this is great so we have our forestry dug up in the next episode i'm going to start by by digging holes to plant the trees and then we're actually going to have forestry when forestry is done everything is going to escalate so nicely from there so thank you all for, for joining me in the new series of Autonauts. It's going to be great. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.